This is the paper that is uh, related to ATX UK June 19, but is based on current finance act. And this is our uh, uh, main window for a question, the remote exam, the CV exam. And you can see that here, there are following uh, tabs here, symbol tab. You can use the symbols, you can use the highlight, the strike through calculator, scratch pad. And uh, you can see that this is question number, one of the question, which is question number four. You can see from the navigator that in section one, there are two questions. In section B, this is question number four. And this is basically the requirement. You should assume that today is 8 June 2021. This is the date. Rod has requested advice in relation to the capital gain tax implication of selling shares. So first issue is uh, the which we have to discuss is capital gain tax and that has been obtained through the EMI scheme. So we should know that what is EMI scheme, how we can calculate against the EMI scheme and potential income tax relief available against the trading loss of a partnership. So we just know, need to know the uh, trading loss relief available for partnership. The following exhibit. Now, there are two exhibit given. One is the scenario, other is the requirement and the response option. So let's move to the uh, requirement first. So you can see here there are uh, uh, A part worth six marks, then this B part one, six marks and B part two, the eight marks question. So first one says that calculate rod after tax proceed from the sale of his shares in Lumba PLC and explain your calculation of the base cost of the shares. So you have to write something explain and you have to calculate now one thing is important that uh, which response option you want to use it uh, you can either use entirely spreadsheet or you can either use entirely word processor you can use the mix of both as well but uh, as this is mainly a calculation so it's better to use the excel for that type of question so let's move to the you can just cross this and move to the scenario just to see the information who is Rod? Rod is resident and domiciled in UK. So this is important information. Was employed for many years by Lumba PLC before taking early retirement on 30th June. Joined the partnership on 1st December. Made no disposal of capital gain tax in the year 2021 other than the shares in Lumba PLC. This is the first disposal. So what is the detail of sale of Lumba PLC? In May 2006, Lumba PLC granted Rod option to purchase 20,000 shares against EMI scheme. The market value of share at the time of grant was 2.60, but the option was given at 2.30 per share. So that's, that has been given at a discount. Rod exercised all of the option in 1st June 2020 when the market value was 3.90. So as there is a discount element so we have to consider the income income tax consequences of that at the grant date as well at, at the exercise date rod sold all the shares on 1st december 2020 in the tax year 2021 when the market value was 0.4 so it means that uh, the sale proceed we have to calculate is 20000 into 4 we can calculate the sale proceed and then we'll find out the base cost of the shares and then we will calculate the CGT. The gain is eligible for VADR, so 10% rate is to be used. Now let's see the requirement again. We have to calculate the after tax proceed from the sale of shares and explain the calculation of base cost. So after tax sale proceed means we have to first of all identify CGT and from sale proceed we will deduct the CGT and we will get the after tax proceed. So let's move to the, uh, the this one, the Excel sheet for that. So this is the Excel sheet. Now here you can write the requirement that what is the requirement of the question after tax proceed from the sale of shares. So you can just put after tax proceed of sell of shares.
after tax proceed of sale of shares. Now I have to do some calculation. So let's put a pro forma. So first of all, uh, this is the sale proceed. It is given in the question. So in the scenario, it's 20,000 shares multiplied by four. So I can refer it to is equal to 20,000 multiply sign into four and you get the value. You can also use the calculator, but it is better to use the Excel formula. Now here we have to use the base cost of shares. Now for base cost of shares, I need to work out the base cost. So let me just uh, do some working notes here. So this is the base cost of shares. This is the working. Now the exercise price uh, was uh, 2.30. So the exercise price was 20,000 shares at the rate of 2.30 at a discount of 0.3. But uh, at the grant date, we have to consider the income tax consequences, income tax charge on that. We have to add this. And what is this is equal to 20,000 multiply by the difference of the discount, which uh, we'll get that is 2.60 minus 2.30 it goes and this is the income tax charge we have to do it like uh, 20,000 multiply by 0 0.30 so you can just put 0 0.30 here so what there is some difference and this is zero so this is 6,000. So I have to add this. And this is now this figure plus this. And this is the 52,000 figure. This is the base cost. Now I have to link this base cost uh, to the above. So here is the base cost. And I have to deduct. So let me just put it is equal to then minus sign. And then I will just go there and link this. So this is the value. So as a result, uh, my chargeable gain is, is equal to this one. Some drag it down, you will get a figure of 28,000. So, chargeable gain is 28,000. Now, from chargeable gain, we have to deduct the annual exemption, and annual exemption is minus 12,300. Now, we have to deduct this in order to find out the taxable gain and taxable gain is this figure so taxable gain is uh, consider the chargeable gain figure and uh, so this is the taxable gain it is 4000 so the annual exemption value is wrong here it's 12,300 
so it's 15,700. Now we have CGT at the rate of 10%. Uh, and uh, this is uh, flexible gain multiplied by 0 0.10. So 157 is the CGT. And what is the sale proceed? So after tax sale proceed is let me just find it out after tax sale proceed and it's uh, sale proceed and sale proceed is uh, I have to link this this is sale proceed deduct the tax charge and uh, what is the tax charge the tax charge is, is equal to minus this one so what is the after tax proceed select this so this is the after tax will proceed which is 78340 now the question requirement was uh, that calculate so calculation have been done and explain your calculation against the base cost of the shares so i have to put some theory here let me just explain here so explanation explanation you can also write it in word So as the option was granted at a discount to market value at the date of grant, a charge to income tax will be Rising on 1st June 2020 and what exercised the and what exercise the shares. Difference between market price at grant date and This is then added to the Price paid to acquire shares in order to get the base cost. This is enough explanation. So the examiner can check this this explanation easily. Now let's move to the uh, next part. So I'm just moving it again. The requirement. This is again calculation. So calculation. Calculate raw share of the tax adjusted trading loss in the partnership for the tax year 2021 and 2122. Your answer to part B1 should clearly show the relevant basis period. So again, this is the pure calculation. So I will I have to use the same Excel and uh, I will just put some part B calculation here. It's a uh, share of loss, share of loss from partnership. So now let's see the requirement uh, scenario first. 
Thora partnership. The Thora partnership has been carried on for many years by two partner A and B. Previously, there were two partners. They were preparing accounts to 30th November annually. Rod was admitted into partnership on 1st December 2020, exactly at the beginning of the accounting year. He is expected to make a tax adjusted trading loss of 47,000 in the year ended 30th November 2021. So the important thing is that uh, the rod is uh, admitted into partnership on 1st December 2020 and the profit loss for that particular year is 47,000. The Thora partnership arrangement has been given uh, from 1st December. Annual salary is 20,000, 20,000 each rod is no, no salary. Profit and loss sharing is equal after considering salary. Now I have to use this information the salary information, the loss information. And first of all, I have to identify the tax adjusted trading loss and then I will work the basis period. So let me leave some space for basis period here. Let me just leave some space and I'll just go here and show some working of tax adjusted trading losses working. Now, the tax adjusted trading loss, which is given is uh, for the year ended November 2021. Tax adjusted loss of the entire partners, partnership for 31st November 2021 has been given. And it's 47,000. So it's uh, 47,000. Now it's 47,000. And uh, what I have to do as this is a loss, so I can put a minus sign here. I can also put a positive sign. And then I will add salary in it. Salary of uh, partners so salary is 2020 20 each so salary is 20000 plus 20000 so the total salary that i will add the salary will increase the loss so as a result uh, this plus this so total loss is after tax loss. Loss to be shared. Now the my sharing is rod share of loss is uh, equal to this one divided by three. Was, uh, equal sharing so divided by three so rod share of loss is 29,000 for the year ended 30th November 2021 now let's move to the first basis period calculation so this is uh, the basis period calculation so the bus basis period calculation first is for 2021 basis period calculation. So it's uh, from 1st November to 1st December to from 1st December to following 5th April. Two zero two zero two, fifth April, twenty one. This is the first basis period, and uh, as a result, I will get a figure of uh, uh, twenty nine thousand profit. This is the figure, twenty nine thousand profit. Now I have to apply the months December, Jan, Feb, March. So I have. Uh, December, Jan, Feb, March, four months out of 12. 
so I have to uh, four months four out of twelve so it's uh, four out of twelve as a result value is Nine six nine six seven. I can also use the complete round of figure nine six six seven. Now, as far as the twenty one twenty two is concerned, so now this is uh, the complete twelve month. So it's uh, loss of first December twenty till. 30th November 21 but but as we have already considered the loss so the loss was 29000 but we have already used the loss used in 2021 so we have used the loss the above value this one we have already used is equal to minus I have to use this so I have used this so now the value that I have to find is value I have to find is, is equal to sum this, minus this. second basis here is basis here is 1933 so the loss for the basis here 2021 is there for 21 22 the basis period loss is 1933 no explanation is needed so this is the second requirement we have completed. Now let's move to the next requirement. Next requirement says that state how Rod is able to relieve the trading loss calculated in above P2 as early as possible. Now important thing is that highlight this as early as possible. Now think about what are the possible options available for any sole trader or any partnership when question says as early as possible so as early as possible means no carry forward as early as possible means current year and carry back and if it is the start of the year if this opening year loss relief then use the special opening year loss relief that is three years carry back using the first in first out math and explain with supporting calculations the total amount of tax saved if rod follow this strategy so first of all we have to tell that what are the options available and then we have to explain the amount of tax savings i think the better thing is that uh, uh, we have to use the word processing document first of all let's see the detail here before entering into partnership he has the history of uh, 2017 18 then 18 19 then 19 20 then 2021 so he has employment income he has dividend income he has uh, enough income to offset his losses so let's uh, move to the word processing document and uh, here just to uh, mention the Part B, point number two, requirement number two, and put a heading, tax saving against 
loss you can make it bold now this is your writing pad and you can writing so broad as text adjusted trading loss in 2021 and in 2122 the losses can be offset against using special opening here loss against the total income of last 3 years using first in first out method so loss of year 2021 is to be offset first against tax year 17 18 and it will result in tax saving of so what was the loss so we have to identify that what was the loss so just see the excel sheet the loss was uh, you see the basis period calculation Nine six six seven. So now see, in seventeen eighteen we have employment income, so it can easily offset against the employment income. So, so you can just put it here the value. It's saving off, so you can just use the. Uh, and use the calculator and just put some values here you can cross your uh, windows that are creating problem so you can use the figures so we have uh, spreadsheet figure of 9667 so it's uh, Nine six six seven. Let's do it again. So we have nine six six seven, and uh, multiplication sign. As is a higher rate taxpayer, so the saving is at the rate of forty percent. So you can just use the is equal to sign. So this is uh, somewhat three eight six seven. Now we can use it here in words. It's three eight six seven. Just show the amount that is nine six six seven multiply by point four zero. So this is the tax saving, and the entire loss is now relieved. Now let's move to the next part. The loss of year twenty one twenty two is to be offset against.
फर्स्ट सो इन एटीन नाइनटीन वी हैव हाउ मच इज द नाइन्टी थाउजेंड प्लस सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड सो वी हैव वन लैख सिक्स थाउजेंड अवेलेबल सो वी हैिक्स थाउजेंड इज अवेलेबल सो एज इट्स अ हायर रेट एक्सपेयर सो नाउ आई हैव टू कंसिडर दैट So, tax saving will be whatever is the tax saving. We have to calculate tax saving, and that is uh, one nine three 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 loss available point four zero. and that is results in the tax saving of uh, 7733 employment income and given as uh, 90000 Plus sixteen thousand. It has been given in the purse. So, so tax saving will be this. We can put a symbol here. That is this one. Now one thing is that uh, check carefully that uh, the income is exceeding before loss. The income was before loss relief. The income was more than one hundred thousand. So. Personal allowance was restricted to. We have to check what is the restriction of personal allowance. It's one zero six minus one hundred thousand divided by two. So restricted to. What is the calculation? Twelve thousand five hundred minus this, and was restricted to let put some working here. Put here restricted to. Nine thousand five hundred. Refer this working. So, if you are taking the loss relief, then as a result of loss relief, the offsetting the loss, the personal allowance which was restricted. Now you can get benefit of that because after loss relief, the value will be reduced. so after taking loss relief the personal allowance will be fully available so a uh, further saving of
the missing personal allowance was this one multiply by 0 0.40 so a further saving of how much we can calculate 1200 is available further saving is available so total saving now the first one was 7733 plus 1200 and total saving now is 12800 the last year saving will also quote we have to quote the last year saving and that is was 3867 so 3867 so as a result the total saving is now 1 2 8 2. now after writing this i have to again check the what was the requirement what was the scenario so let's move to the Just close it. The additional tabs and just move to the requirement. You can see state how loss is to be relieved. We have written that part calculated in the above as early as possible to consider this and explain with supporting calculations the total amount of tax saved if not follow the above strategy. So, this is the complete answer. So if you can check this, that in a CB exam, there is, there are following tabs available. There are the scenario, exhibit requirement, word processor, spreadsheet, and this is the text table. You can use, you can use text tables. You need to have some value. You, have, you need some value so you can find out from here, the personal allowance, the other information. So you can use this as well. If you don't need this, just cross it down and they make it simple.